Hey everyone, Lou with Burger Pickers here. We're checking out a 1960s toy. Um, it is a mechanical gorilla, which is really supposed to look like King Kong. And um, it's made out of tin. It was constructed in Japan. And it was sold and distributed by the Lewis Marks um, company. So let's take a look at the box here real quick. And then we'll see if he works. So it's a mechanical wind-up toy. And this is what the box looks like. Um, this is always the hardest part to find. Okay, and it reads mechanical gorilla, permanent key lock type motor. Okay, so the key is always there. Um, you can't remove it or, and lose it. A realistic plush toy with a vinyl head. It growls, it prowls. And that's a beautiful image right there of uh, the gorilla, which in my opinion is King Kong. Uh, there's the Marks logo, and there it is that it was made in Japan. So the box is not in amazing condition, but it still has some gloss on it, and uh, the staples are all original. Everything's original, um, and it's not split in any way. It's got some damage here, um, but the corners aren't split, so that's a positive. has some old uh, scotch tape on it, or some, some tape right there. Okay, and this corner is split, and the reason it looks like that this one has some tape on it is, to the back of the box, it looks like it was given as a Christmas present at some point, and the evidence is right here, it's got some, this is not part of the box, this looks like some old wrapping paper, so this was a Christmas gift at one point, so that's cool, right, that adds to the provenance, um, so, this gorilla is awesome, it's fantastic. Um, it comes with the uh, carton insert. That's where his feet go and his body. Um, but the one thing that's a little off about it, <clears throat> I noticed right away he's missing his collar uh, right here. And it's not a huge detriment. Um, oh, still going. He's got an opinion about that. It's not, it's, not a, it's not a huge detriment, but obviously it's just not going to be worth it as much as one that is fully complete. Um, the good news is that it's still in great shape. It's not been repaired. It's not been altered in any way. And as I keep moving it, you, he'll, he's cranky, so he'll get it cranky because it's a wind-up. Anyways, crank toy. Um, it's a little marking on there. It's the Marks Company uh, logo. And I'm going to wind them up after... I show you the bottom here. It's got some wheels that move. They're loose. That's a good sign. They're not stuck or locked in any way. Um, you can see his shekels. Not the shekels. Shackles. Okay. So this is why he reminds me of King Kong. Because if you remember in the movies, the first one coming out in 1933, he was eventually caught, then shackled and held. And... Um, this is the iconic scene of him breaking loose from his shackles. So what he's supposed to do is supposed to prowl and growl. He opens his mouth and closes it. And you hear like a clicking or a gurgling sound. That's supposed to be the growling. Um, so I'm going to wind them up and we'll see where, we, where it goes from there. you got to be gentle. They are pretty brittle, especially if they're not maintained very well. There we go. Gonna wait for him to calm down. There we go. Okay, so he's calm now. Um, he beats his chest, which is awesome, and we all know who does that. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's a 1960s iconic toy. It's they're not easy to find, especially in this condition. Um, even hey, he's going. All right, even with the uh, collar missing, which is basically just larger version of the shackle here on each one of his arms. It goes around his neck. Um, they're very difficult to find. When you do find them with a box such as this one, 
I snatched them up. I recommend you snatch them up, um, especially in working condition. Fully functional. Um, it's it, he's mechanical, so it's these toys. They're they're going away. Um, but yeah, I'll put them in here, and he's opposed to that. So that's where he's gonna go. Um, this has been Lou with Bergen Pickers. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video, if you found it informative, or if you have any questions, uh, like and comment uh, below, and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys soon.